Gang, in today's video, actually we're going to do a few videos, but we're going to talk about orders. I'm gonna give you a full primer on orders. Market order, limit order, stop order, stop limit order, and GTC order. You're gonna learn it all in this video or this series of video. And if you guys like these videos, please, please, please like us and subscribe to our channel. Actually, it's not Facebook, it's YouTube, so you don't really have a chance to like us, but you can subscribe to our channel, okay? Thank you so much and let's get started. So, what are we gonna talk about? Market order. Limit order. All right, stop order. Stop loss and buy stop. And then we're gonna talk about a stop limit order and then we'll cap things off with a GTC order. So we got the market order, we got the limit order, we got the stop order for our stop loss for protection, we got our buy stop for entries, we got our stop limit order, and we have our GTC order. So we have a lot to talk about today. So let's start off with a market order, all right? Market order. What is a market order? Market order is very simple. If the market is open and you place a market order, you will get filled at the prevailing market price. It's that simple. If the market is closed, some platforms will allow you to place a market order for the next day. Some will not and you can only place a market order when the market is open. So again, sometimes you can place a market order when the market's open and sometimes you can place it for the next day. The truth of the matter is it's better to only place a market order when the market's open because if the market's closed and you don't know where it's going to open, your stocks or your options may be in for a surprise because you won't know where you'll get filled till it happens and you don't really have any control over it. So I highly recommend you only place market orders when markets are actually open. I know it's common sense, but sometimes common sense is not so common. So. Market orders only when markets are open. Now, what's the upside of a market order? The upside of a market order is you get filled immediately. Immediately. Right away. Immediately. A-S-A-P. You get filled right away. What's the downside of a market order? There's some downsides and that's what I want to talk about. The downside is there's always a bid and an offer when you're trading, okay? There's a bid and an offer. You buy the bid, you sell at the offer. When you have a bid and the offer, you can get filled anywhere on the bid, on the offer, in between, depending on the liquidity. So if you're placing a market order and you're placing an order on an asset that's illiquid, you risk, you risk getting a bad fill. Okay, so if you place a market order and you have, there's a liquidity issue, if there's a liquidity issue, you can get really screwed. Excuse my French. So if you're gonna use market orders, only use them on liquid assets. Anything that has large, large volumes and volumes. S&P 500 stocks, NASDAQ stocks. Don't use market orders on options unless those options are very liquid. Also, markets are very liquid around the morning and the late session. In other words, the first 15 minutes of the day and the last 15 minutes of the day, markets are open and have a lot of liquidity during those times. So those times are better and more opportune for trading market orders, if you're gonna trade market orders. And again, only trade market orders when you have liquidity. If you don't have a liquid market, don't trade it. So if you're trading a stock that has 5,000 shares traded in a day, you don't wanna use a market order, okay? Because a market order will execute your trade right away, regardless of where the market is. So if there's a wide spread between the bid and the offer, that's gonna put you in a very bad position. Now, if you're trading Amazon or Apple or Spy or any of those top 10, top 20 assets that we all know about, you're not really gonna have a major issue but you will have a major issue if you trade illiquid assets, okay? So that's the first, that's the first part, that's the, per, that's the first part of our video, excuse me for not being able to speak correctly today. 
But that's market orders. In the next video, we're gonna talk about limit orders. And again, don't place market orders when you don't know where the market's gonna happen, open or where liquidity is bad or low. If liquidity is bad or low, you're gonna be taken advantage of. I don't want that to happen to you. So use limit orders and we're gonna talk about those in the next video. And before I let you go, make sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, subscribe to the WealthPress channel. Talk to you soon.